Hey everybody, welcome to Late Night Dungeon Fight. We're here for our Bloodlords campaign over in Geb or Yeld or some other ridiculously named town in Galarian. Uh, like Pussy Fart or Dingleberry Junction. Um, where Randy Sandy Snatch lives on Sandy Snatch Beach of the uh, Detroit Sandy Snatches. But we're waiting on work because it's fucking December and everything is a goddamn mess and yay Jesus and all that shit, you know? Like fucking, I don't know why we all got to be so uptight about some fucking dead baby. This guy's been a, been a zombie for fucking millennia and we got to sit here and celebrate his birth with capitalism. Jesus was the first capitalist, right? That's how this works? Yeah. Was, he, was Jesus a capitalist or was Jesus a socialist? I always thought Jesus was a socialist, but if you pay attention to Christmas, he was clearly a capitalist. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> also, you, uh, I'm pretty sure the whole zombie thing isn't really until Easter. The zombie part isn't. Yeah. We're celebrating his the birth, The birth part. Right, but he was, he was born in like fucking March. Let's do it. It just took yeah. him a while to get there. Here's a hot take, guys. Um, the whole Jesus myth is based off of Saturnalia, which was a pagan thing. So take that, Christianity. Saturnalia and Yule. I got a better one. Jesus is a Jew. Very, very much a Jew. Very that. much a Jew. Very all knew that. Yeah. Yeah. That you know who really, doesn't know that? That really you know shocks who some Christians. Here's the people. The great thing about that is the people who don't know that is the Jews because they don't believe Jesus was real. So there's no Jesus in the Jewish religion. No, but he's a Jew. It wasn't about them thinking that he wasn't real. It's just not that he, he well, was not the son. Right, he's they, not the son of God. Muslims, Muslims yeah. believe that Jesus happened, but they don't think that Jesus was like as big a deal. They were like, "Oh no, that's just a guy." Like, yeah. What are you talking about? You can't be one of us they just because you're nice to other people. Look, they like the original, not the sequel. That's all it is. They just, <laughs> they realized very early on that sequels are usually terrible. Well, I mean, the whole reason that there was a sequel is because God had real bad branding. Turning motherfuckers into pillars of salt and flooding the entire world and burning bushes and sacrificing Isaac by having his mother kill him and the whole Cain and Abel thing, and like he needed to rebrand hard, so that's where Jesus came from. Old, Old Testament <sighs> God was a bit rough. I mean, don't fucking thin, bitch. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, when Old your Testament. sins are, Old when your Testament sins are God. dumb shit, like don't eat this apple. Anything else, not just not this fucking <laughs> apple, or else. Well, like, come on, man! Should, shouldn't have stole the fucking apple. Stealing is but a then, sin. But then also, so is gluttony. But then there, no, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how this religion works at all. That was literally made up in a fanfic called uh, Paradise Lost. <laughs> um, but no, um. I love also, referring to published work and fiction as fan fiction. It makes <laughs> it makes like literary people so upset. Well, no, like Dante's Inferno is a fan fiction. I mean, it is just, like technically, it absolutely it is. is. It's none of that is described in any of the Bible, <laughs> <laughs> and it's based on the Bible. It's just his version of "I want this to happen." He even <laughs> he even was just like. A fanboy of Virgil, the Greek poet from like before Troy, and he put him in there because he wanted to be friends with Virgil. Yeah, he wanted he didn't to ship know Virgil. He wanted to ship Virgil with Jesus. It's it's really just uh I'm writing my imaginary friend down. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It was there was oh god. There, there are fanfics of the Bible that are critically acclaimed works and classics, and I'm just like, but they're still fanfic. That doesn't change what they are. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, well, isn't Paradise Lost less of a fanfic of the Bible and more like the Snyder Cut 
of the Bible. Like, if I had written it, no, this is how it would have went. No, it is also a fanfic of the Bible mm. because it wrote uh, Satan as a, oh, you know, the hot bad boy with daddy's issues. That that was Paradise Lost. <laughs> that's literally, that's that's 90% of the plot of Paradise Lost. Was that the origin of that issues. trope? That's that's also the plot of Lucifer. That's the original I mean, daddy yeah. issues. Yeah, was that the original, is, like, hot is. bad boy with daddy issues? Yeah, even to the point of, like, when he's corrupting Eve and Eden, he has one moment of, oh, this is, I could I could fall in love with her, but then he goes back to being, you know, moody, broody Satan, and he corrupts her. So basically every iteration of Hades we've ever seen in anything ever. Yeah, yeah, they, they kind of ripped him off. Mm. Did you guys ever watch Once Upon a Time? Oh, God, yes. That version of Hades was fucking hysterical. He was great. I did not watch it long enough to get to see that. It had jumped the shark by then, but he was oh, worth it. Wow. Well, it well had jumped well the jumped the shark by then, but he was well worth uh, hanging in there. What the, fuck, what the fuck, Foundry? Wake the fuck up. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, you're here. I'm not, though. <laughs> I just I just saw you pop in. You're here. I see. I see. Flat you. gray screen. Oh no. Uh, Nothing going on except the little anvil up in the upper left hand corner. I'm having like ginger issues over here. Have fun with that, sir. <laughs> Lydia, you want to run juice? I can certainly try. Hey, there it goes. All right. Does anybody remember what happened last time? We got the yell. I do. You do. Absolutely, I definitely wasn't here. Oh, oh, no, I remember what we fucking did. We, we played, wandered around. No, we played a game with one of the three people who this was, like, gonna give us info on Thrill. the bitch. On, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we, play, we played uh, fucking Galarian Monopoly. Yep. Yes. Yes, we did. Nathnelma. You were getting information on Nathnelma the hag. Yes. And we got some. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it is because technically we won, but also I totally forget what we did. I think Orc actually took notes, so I I wrote a couple things down. Problem is I don't remember where. Because me me and Orc won the game in the <laughs> end. Oh Jesus! That's all oh here I we go. Uh, Nefertiti, uh, Gravehag always has followers. Nefertiti. Uh, mm -hmm. The more the more door Carters uh, owes a favor. Uh, large two headed monster. Lydia Big Dick Gavin BK, owes us a favor. That's what I got. Yep, the guy owes you a favor. I did take notes. More <laughs> I, I actually remember what a good portion of those mean too. I, I, I forget what Gavin's real first name is but I've, I've got him down as big dick gavin yeah more dick is what we were calling him yeah more dick. yeah there we go uh carter's consortium and big dick gavin owe us a favor there we go. <laughs> that's what i have this is the only notes that i took from last session i think those are the only notes that matter <laughs> well that and the that there's a two-headed monster that hangs out with this dizzy bitch and she's like never alone Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And two headed monster, mm -hmm. yeah, Something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a one eyed wonder worm. And they were strongly advised to not attack her at the school. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. right, right. And there's nowhere to find her outside of the school. She's uh, doesn't it really go shopping or anything when she's not at the school. She's kind of a reckless. She's, yep, she's at her home. And if she does go out, she's got her entire retinue. Yep. So they um they were advised to observe her at the Twilight Castrum um, where she teaches. Um, they were also hinted at by uh, Hadoli, who is also in town, um, to make friends with the mm -hmm. other two blood lords that are there. Mm -hmm. Um, which wow. is Krill and Lord Zithni. That guy. Yep. So they hung out with Krill last time and played uh, Monopoly with him. Um, We're gonna go hang out with Zithro and play Blackjack. And he just is... like in uh, real life, it drove stump to violence. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, so Krill is part of the Merchant's Guild. And um, Thithni is part of the Celebrants, and he is also a vampire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured with the point of teeth. It would be... I mean, I also outright told you he was a vampire, but yeah. And he looks like Prince Namor. <laughs> so when we left off, you guys uh, went to bed for the night at uh, the Queen's Loft, I believe, is where you decided to stay. The lack of uh, toilets at the Palladium really put you off, so. It did. Uh, also, just as a reminder, our party gold is currently at 415. So we're not doing the worst. There's your shop if you need it. I'm gonna pick up an extra uh, oil of unlife. Gotta watch now. Mm. Watch. Pull this out here. Put it over there. Excuse me while I whip this out. And you got some. I think he gave it to G. Oh. Um. Whipped it out and gave it to Juice. He has so much shit in his inventory. Your soul. Well, yeah. Obviously, I just got my soul. Trying not to just yet. Oops, I did that years ago. So, and them lies that you told, boy. Oh yeah, there was this flintlock pistol we had that I don't think anyone was gonna be able to use. Oh, you also got um points with the export guild. I did add that to your sheet, Ginger. Yes. I actually, I said, matter of fact. Do you like how I have the two separate settings? One is super, super negative for the celebrants. <laughs> yeah. Why? We're doing because, good with the celebrants. Oh, Rod of Wonder. One point where uh, the tax guild is where we we pissed them off. Oh, it might have been tax guild. Yeah, you got you got points with the merchant. Yeah, I had the tax collectors. Mm -hmm. at a uh, negative five. Yeah, then <laughs> we pissed right the fuck off. Yeah. I was yep. going to say, we, we rescued a couple <laughs> of celebrants and got points with them. <laughs> We're all right with them. We're not so good with the tax man. I'm pretty sure Stump has outright threatened them on multiple occasions. Yeah. And then you also got a rod of wonder. Oh yeah. yeah. Who has a rod of wonder? I, I have a rod yeah. of wonder. <laughs> I got a rod of wonder. <clears throat> That's definitely the wrong vibe, Jack. Would you like to witness my rod of wonder? Would you like to handle my rod of wonder? I can't keep this up. No, you can't. <laughs> I mean, I can uh, try, but. <laughs> God dang. I can't look at y'all and keep this up. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just stare at the camera. I could do it for quite some time. This... How can I see any one of your faces? It's a problem. I am, I am arguing via text with my husband to go check the brownies because I have this superpower, because I'm fat, of telling when baked goods are done by smell. They smell uh -huh. that, don't they? I, you, I just, I know, by smell. And I told him that they're done, and he said no, and I said, my nose says yes. <laughs> Go check them. <laughs> Take a knife in the middle, if it comes out clean, they're done. Or just a teensy bit. Then you, they're good, because they'll keep cooking. Right. Yes. I like I like when the whatever you're testing it with has just the tiniest little bit left because then they're more gooey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, speaking of, since we're here and not actually fucking accomplishing anything, 
Where do y'all stand on uh, edge versus center with brownies? Oh, edge. Corner piece, center. always. Center, always. Jack? I want no edge. All, the whole pan? Is that an option? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're you're an equal opportunity brownie destroyer. Oh, for sure. <clears throat> uh, I do prefer an edge, but I don't like them crunchy. I just like them firmer than the rest of the brownies. Yes. yes. <clears throat> I'll, yeah. I'll... Uh, Normally, I'll eat the edge, but I'm not happy about it. Oh, I love a good corner piece. It is my favorite. So what well, you're you, saying you is do those know. brownie pans that they make with the like the lines so that every I piece is an edge I piece? swear to God, it's like we have the same fucking brain sometimes. <laughs> so that's what you need, right? You knew that, you know that's a thing, right? So, yes, I do. I do. But I, I'm not against the middle one. I just always want the edge one first. I have an edge one first and an edge one last. Does that mean you're an edge lord? Yep. Edge. Always. All right. Um, Ginger, do you have any questions about what happened last time? So many questions, but I honestly don't really know how to put them into words because that recap was very, very <clears throat> confusing and all over the place. Let me see if I can. So if I on now. brand I is what so I'm hearing. I understand that we found a new place. Yep. We have three blood lords that we're kind of trying to introduce ourselves to and ingratiate ourselves with. We have done that with one of them. There is homegirl that we're trying to kill that likes to spend a lot of time in a school and we're not supposed to fight her in the school. She's a um, professor. And that's about all I got. No, that's pretty much you got it. Yeah. And uh, if you're looking at the map, there's three um, hotels. Mm -hmm. We're in the Queens, whatever. Queen the guy that is next to Queen. us, it says Queens something. We're Queens just on top Loft. Of it. That's what it says. Um, so the guy in there, that's Krill. We're cool with him. And then to the southeast, there's the Palladium. That's the lady we know, the halfling lady that we started the game knowing, mm -hmm. whose name I can't fucking remember. Caroline Hadoli. So the, and then there's the last one is the Harrow House down where Jack is. Uh, and that is like the posh, um, fancy schmancy hotel. And that guy in there, Lord Zatini or whatever the hell his name is, is a uh, celebrant lord, blood lord. Mm -hmm. So we've made we've made nice, nice with everybody but him. Does, <clears throat> and... does the lady know that we're here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. She's at like the... Uh, uh, like the one star hotel, we're at like the two star hotel, and this clown is over at like the four star hotel. Yeah, why is she at the one star hotel? Is she, she hiding? She likes um, she's frugal, so she's she also went, a halfling. She went for the budget in. <clears throat> yeah, halfling hotel lodge. <clears throat> Halflings tend to be a little more down to earth, just as a species. Like even rich ones tend to just like you know. It's cheaper for my small ass to be in a small hotel because I'm small. Lydia feels offended. Lydia can't She's hear me. <laughs> I understand that, but I, I'm not in Galarian. <laughs> yes. Is Lydia not frugal? She seems pretty frugal. Lydia spent four hundred gold on a tent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, she. Uh, like four hundred and thirty gold. Frugal. Yeah, but we have so much gold. We did get a lot of extra gold. You did. <laughs> we have so much gold that we don't spend. Like, as a monk, I need very little equipment, so it's like having one less party member. <laughs> All right, so I guess we just talk to the other Blood Lord now before, uh, before we track this bitch down. Do, 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 do. Orc is ten minutes later than he was supposed to be late. How dare he? Oh, then there's something in general here. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll work on that. Um. Okay. How are we feeling? Is this um? Is this cool? Is everything cool here? Mm-hmm. Everything cool. Let's go with this because I like the. I just like the sound here music brought to you by barterfy mm -hmm. 
Spotify on YouTube. Yeah, is it um Mr. Celebrant? Is are you guys hearing music? Not yet. Give it oh. a second. I was wondering. I think we should uh, start doing that more often me. and see how quickly we can confuse Jack. Me, uh, real me bad. and you, Jack. I was also confused that I just <laughs> didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, no. When you don't tell people what's going on, it's real easy to confuse them. <laughs> you can just look in general and see what's going on. Nah. Uh, I didn't <laughs> see anything posted. In... Oh, now I do. Mm. I didn't at the time. <laughs> just not. Am I not hearing anything? Mm -hmm. It's not playing. Cal, what are you doing? Uh, okay, the don't music is being stupid. Either. Oh, is the bot not working? It does not seem to be working. Let me oh. try it again. I don't want to find another bot. That was so much research. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't want to work for whatever reason. It starts playing, then it says the queue has ended. You know what? Let me just... Uh... Yeah, stop the whole... Like, delete the whole thing or kick it out and then bring it back. Yeah, I did that twice already. <laughs> I'll try again. Let me try a uh, a different tune. Perhaps this one is far too um, mighty for the fucking player. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm going to go find my space keeper. Let me pull. Be right back. See if this works. Da, 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 da. Nothing wants to work. Okay, now. Is anybody hearing any music? No, it's deafened right now. I mean, it's always stepping. But I might need to turn the volume up. No, I don't no, need to I turn can... the volume up. Can we, like, restart the player? Maybe it's me. Maybe I need to just restart my Discord. Let me see if I can just make it do it. Yeah. Um... But it's forward slash play in the link. Yeah, there's the link. That's just the one I grabbed secondhand. Let's see if that shit's working. Nope. Still no luck, huh? Good. Not yet. What is it that we use again? Uh, shuffle. You just go into the music chat and you type slash play, and it should bring up a little thing for you to put it into. Uh, okay, let's try this here. Drop it in there again. Whoa, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. It's got um, something to the What? To give us the cue. He was cleared. Mm hmm I just cleared the queue. Yeah. 
We might just have hey. to. Orca okay. showed up. Hello. Oh my God. Oh. oh. Yeah, Somebody got out of work on. late. Hi. Hey. Hey. How you? Bad. I'm in my car. Yes, you are. We, we can hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds like somebody canned you and put you on a shelf. <laughs> can of work. Oh, I'm getting stuck in the oh. can. Also, if it makes a difference, there was an update to the shuffle bot in like late, late November. So I know sometimes when shit gets updated, it no longer syncs properly with things that it's supposed to be able to connect to. Uh, okay. Well, then let's just let it go for now. It's and... asking me to add it, too. Like, if you right-click on it, it says add bot. Or not right-click, but just click on it. Click on it. Yeah. Add app. Add, add, add. Okay, I'll hit the add button. Add. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, hit the add yeah. button. I'm, I'm trying. You uh, are Eddie Wood watching. Right. Fucking red light! Fuck you! <laughs> I didn't. I didn't take orc for a road rager. I'll be fair. <laughs> oh, I have uh, intense road rage. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> that was that was zero to a hundred to zero. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was uh, pretty phenomenal oh right my there. Goodness. Hey, I mean, you don't want to hold it in. That's how you end up, you know, with a heart attack at thirty-five. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh god, that's yeah. funny. And it, it'd be fine if like the lights were on sensors, but they're all on fucking timers till midnight. Yeah. Hmm. I need to lower your volume, sir. Yeah, you're. Yeah, I have him lowered already. It's not his fault. The fucking oh no, phones definitely... don't have very good volume control. It's the different microphone for sure. <laughs> but at the same time, I was like, ah, my ears—they bleed. I just nah, ask you don't questions need when I'm driving. I just have questions. My questions are usually, "What are you doing? Why are you stopped? What the fuck are you doing? Uh... Why?" Do you know how to drive? What is happening right now? Why are you going 10 below the speed limit? No, oh it's like, why are, you, why are you stopped in the middle of the road? What are you doing? They don't Meanwhile. I didn't Meanwhile. start aggressively using my horn until my 30s. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. All right, I'm gonna hop. I will see you I in a second. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I never use my horn because I live in Georgia. Everyone has a gun. I, I don't want to die. Uh, everyone has a gun here as well. Um, usually many. Um, it is a legitimate fear that somebody just drive up next to me and shoot me while I drive. Um, I own multiple guns. I, I can attest to the fact that everyone owns a fucking gun here. But at the same time, when... You can't fully pull into a fucking parking space and you block the lane. I'm going to aggressively honk at you. Nope. I don't like that. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It connected back to my earbuds. That's oh, oh better. that's better. That's better. Yeah. That's Not great, better. but it's better. Yeah. It's, hey, we'll take it. That's yeah, like a seventy percent improvement. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, but also, hey, how's it going? like, you guys all just drive to and from work and to, like, the store and stuff. I drive for a living now, and I've found that I get much less pissed off at small shit on a regular basis. I uh, yeah. do find Hurry going up. to and from work. My problem is around town. What up, Jay? Hey, what up, Jay? Hey. Capital. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I, I, I feel you jack i am also on the road for life for a living and uh i stopped getting angry um, now i just have one-sided conversations and the french dip um sandwich 
Now we all know that what our sandwich is. Yep. <laughs> Where's my French dip sandwich? Uh, the stove. In Jersey. <laughs> In Jersey. Cold by the time it gets to you, I'll tell you that much. It's gonna be a long yeah. time until I get a hold of that. Ginger, one. if you want, I will get you a fresh French dip. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from new jersey i'd like to see that fucking feed i, I will hold you to that the next time i see uh, you dimension door quotation marks around the friend. dimension door goes 500 <laughs> feet that's that's not gonna fucking help <laughs> where's that teleportation circle have we finished setting it up yet the, the only way dimension door would help is if orc was on like a concord jet and jumped out <laughs> and used Dimension Door to get to the ground before he died. Now I'm just thinking of that staff that was in the d and movie where he's like, put it over here, put it over there. The portal staff, yeah. <laughs> well, we set up the teleportation circles, but nobody could cast teleportation. That is a problem. <laughs> That's the problem. Got it. Yeah, we didn't. No wizards in the party. <laughs> We mm. always forget the wizard. You know? Because nobody wants to like play a wizard. Because in Pathfinder 2, they suck dog dick. <laughs> For some reason, they can't hit shit. Well, yeah, it's Jack not that knows. They can't hit shit. It's that everything saves. Yeah. yeah. Well, wizard, everything yeah. saves is really good. And nobody yeah. has, like, like, the fighters don't have, like, will debuff you know effects that would help the sorcerers and vice versa mm. yeah. which there are things that do that but we just don't have them. right yeah. uh, a lot of them are, are either are like level locked or they're like they're effective very like narrowly so yeah, yeah you'd mm -hmm. much rather get power attack than fucking you know right. like silent strike <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. like uh exactly. arc Argon took a silencing strike, but the thing is, all it does is do stun for one of your action points. It doesn't do any damage, and you have to hit with a melee attack in order to stun somebody once. Stun one, which is nice and all if you don't have anything to do with your last action point, but, you know, you're definitely never going to lead with that. No. Oh, no, you're not. I will be, I just walked in, put everything down. I will be online in about. Okay, buddy. Hey. Time. Late night dungeon fight. The only place you can come and see actual people actually playing the game with shit like, oh man, I got off late work. Uh, I gotta fucking get some food in me, or uh, my <laughs> my camera has completely stopped working. I will be doing an audio only stream. Um, or. <laughs> Middle of a roll, it's fucking hurting. dog. Get you farted so bad that I can't breathe. I have to go. <laughs> or you know, everybody's favorite cat butt exclamation point. <laughs> cat butt. When we say actual play, we mean actual play. actual play. Yeah, as in we actually never get to play because we're busy trying to fucking get our lives together. Uh, we're just a bunch play. of giant children. Because we sit here and talk like I'm we bored. don't see each other three times a week. <laughs> Some of us see each other more than that. I know. <laughs> What's the line? Actual play? I, um, problems? Mm -hmm. I'm always at work, so I can't partake in all the reindeer games. No, but you're always invited in case you happen to not be at work. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Which, what are we doing? Thursday? What are we doing tomorrow? Is it for the king? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow is for the, the king. king night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm off tomorrow, so I'll pop in and check. Okay. Nice. Cool. If you hey, want to play, I I don't mind bowing out. If you want to play, I don't own the I don't own the game. Mm. You don't have for the king two yet. Nope. When you get a chance, um, I mean, did you did yeah. you play for the king one? I barely have time to keep up with our fucking Pathfinder games, <laughs> let alone. <laughs> Listen, listen, the, I didn't ask if you... The only other game I've played I is Sea of Stars, and I have... I didn't uh, ask if you played hour, it. Hours I, in it. Or, I didn't ask if you or played gave it. all I, his I free you, time to Diablo and Disappointment. I, yeah. Aww. I didn't ask if you played it, I just asked if you owned it. 
You don't no, have to don't play the games. Them. You just have to own them all and put them in a pile that you can stare at enviously every time <laughs> you fucking sign on before no, you have I to like to look at check yeah, your email funny. and get mad. <laughs> you want some so diesel? Way... What do you think? Diesel? Yeah. Sour diesel? Or like diesel uh, gasoline? Di- diesel, d- diesel drift. The dog. Oh. It's a strain. It's a strain off of sour. Ah. Very it good. Close. It's the only one I can go to work high with because it doesn't make my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they make Visine for that. Yeah, that I'm not going to put like extra that. chemicals in my eyes. It's saline solution. I'm not putting chemicals in my it's eyes. Not a chemical. I don't wait, 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 wait. Water. Didn't, didn't Orc do optometry? <laughs> I did. Yeah. So I'm not arguing. I'm not putting extra chemicals in my eyes if I don't have. And I didn't think Visine was. Uh, it's not. It's a saline straight, solution. No, isn't it? I didn't think it was straight saline solution. I thought it's not. Uh, it yeah, might have something else. They have it. like straight saline solution, but I don't believe Visine is one of those because it's actually no, it's supposed to be an anti-inflammatory, so it has more stuff in it. That is good to know. I don't. I stopped using Visine like a decade ago. <laughs> I stopped. Yeah, it, Visine kept giving me the post nasal drip thing, so I had to stop using it. Well, don't squirt it up your nose. It's for your eyes. <laughs> they make the nasal sprays for your nose. You did it wrong. It's all connected <laughs> together, my friend. Yes, I mean, technically, yeah. True. <laughs> well, if you put Visine up your nose, you're probably going to have a bad day. <laughs> Put flonies in your eyes. See if it works. Oh, that's a oh, no. Yeah. no, no, no. Oh, thank you. No flonies. That like sounds an awful, awful idea. Yeah, that sounds like the bad. You know, it sounds like a great idea. Not that. After uh, 37 minutes, maybe playing some Blood Lords. Yeah. Fuck it. What, what is that Look, shit? I've suggested like twice going Av- to Avani, Avani, hold on now. Yes. You do not get to dictate when the game starts. I am God. She kind of does that. Yeah, you are God game. up to a point, <laughs> and that point is here. <laughs> no, I, I'm I'm still pretty sure that the term um <laughs> game master denotes that she is the master of when the game doth begin and end. Mm. No man, like... <laughs> she'd be hard pressed to win that argument today. I feel like this is still Orc's world and we're just living in it. It really fucking is. Oh, if it is Orc's world, he could send me some fucking money or a fucking golden fucking goose or something. This is, uh, if, you're, if you're running the world, yeah, remember, man. Remember, I still have to follow the government bureaucracy, so it's coming. Yeah. It's in the mail, I promise. <laughs> but you have to trust the U.S. postal system. The oh, goose yeah. in the mail. By the time it gets to me at this point, it's going to be fucking dead. It'll be a dead <laughs> duck. <laughs> dead. Deader than disco. Or my fucking personal life. <laughs> yeah, Avani, to be fair, I did suggest that we go visit the Celebrant like two or three times. So. She did. Uh, she has been stepped on repeatedly trying to say things as well. <laughs> uh, where? I okay. tried to put us on track. So you get there. Uh, it is morning, and the attendant in his room tells you that uh, he's a vampire. It's daytime. Come back in the evening. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you derail the fucking? We we got there. We were doing what you wanted. Now we have to find something to do. All day we were good. You fucked it all up. Why'd you fuck it up? You made it worse. You were just complaining about this, and now you've. You've done put your dick in the fire. Okay, why did like, you do that? Hold on. The very <laughs> first thing in this game, I reminded you he was a vampire. I said it was morning. I didn't hear uh, that Avani. Morning. Is there anything around like this guy's like house or establishment that needs like fixing? Um, I mean, no, he's in the really nice part of town. Um yeah, he's in like the Hilton, guy. homie. You could follow right, I, can, I, I can I can install a marble floor, you know, I could do and sanded countertop. I don't you know, think I can, I you're gotta... getting a marble floor in, in an afternoon, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't know my work ethic, sir. I bl- I believe your work ethic. This is more of a fucking 
just, volume you know, of work uh, thing. Sourcing the materials. From. I mean, you have to measure twice, cut three times, find a supplier, get it delivered. Working with contractors is a nightmare. Meanwhile, you three of your best guys on right now. Down in the basement in a coffin, trying to sleep, and he just hears pink, 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 pink. <laughs> oh man, can we like? Can we go beat on his door at like noon, like a bunch of drunk college kids first showing up at like <laughs> two in the morning? Ill advised. Oh. Uh, you can go observe uh, Nefertiti at the school. Ooh, ooh, can we? Mm. Yeah, Down it, for that. One. It was suggested that she's you giving, do that. She's giving a class or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let, let's go watch intro into coven worship. Or whatever the fuck she's, she's got going on. I'll, I'll, I'll take a class on worshiping titties. I don't know. Intro into cauldron stirring. <laughs> you know what? I would actually take that because I have a walking cauldron that I need to Texas probably maintain. I'll, I'll take I... her cauldron course. Sure, sure. You can totally uh, enroll in classes. <laughs> No, but, man, but you, you don't have, have to, to do that. You have to we sign just... up with registration. It, it's a whole thing. They need your tax forms. You're going to yeah, have bro, to apply you... for financial aid. Look, stop, stop. We got money. So we <laughs> yeah, get to I'm do gonna... the, the sit in thing. We just go and throw some money at the registrar and they let you go in. And like, Can... what do they call that? Audit? Audit a class. Ginger. Yo. Could you do me a favor and write me a letter to fucker and run uh, <laughs> requesting a, a tax audit? Absolutely. <laughs> so that I can apply to school. I'm just <laughs> regularly going to do cameos with fucker and run now. I was going to say, I'm yeah, pretty sure that's not how a tax audit works. That's fine. You can do the cameos. <laughs> but Look, you're, the le- you're the legal expert, not me, okay? No, totally you're- fair. <laughs> Like you might Black be the dungeon the- master and that's cool <laughs> and you can do all the cameos you want however i i demand that they are done in the proper <laughs> accents and voices <laughs> touche that is also yeah and if you're cameoing them cam- cameoing them you got hey, you, you, got it. <laughs> you got it the second time i struggled <laughs> you did come on <laughs> All right. So, okay. <laughs> Listen, that is not how Tapper sounds. You're gonna have to do a better accent than that. <laughs> yeah, come on. How am I doing over here? <laughs> Tapper sounds more like this. Not that hard. Uh, fucking... I, you know, he does. He does sound more like that. Bring me a fucking shine box, huh? All funny right. how? How uh, am I funny? Back at least near the train tracks, guys. Somewhere near the train tracks. <laughs> Never. Yeah, we're at the school. We're auditing fucking Cauldrons 101. <laughs> balls on you, homie. What's happening? The Twilight. Me... Shut up, Jack. The student becomes <laughs> the master. Go ahead, please. Why run my mouth more? <laughs> The Twilight Cashroom is an old stone fortress with multiple towers and an imposing gatehouse. Students of all ages middle mingle in a large central courtyard while staff and occasional faculty stride purposefully through the adjacent corridors. A large double door stands open in the courtyard with a chalk sign standing next to it, creating unusual undead by visiting Professor Nathnelma second floor observation gallery. Two students obviously late hurry up a broad staircase to the second floor. Cool. Uh, I'd like I to go, follow those students. I would like to check out the large Dumbledore. Do um, we want to come in late and attract attention to ourselves? Juice? Well, we could show up. I mean, we could show up later mm-hmm. than those students and really attract attention. I do not believe or, if you audit a class, you need to be there on time. You just need to enter without pausing a ruckus. And I look over at Clack. <laughs> no music in the classroom. Fine. 
or jokes or anything, really. We want to keep a low profile. All right, switching to my head. I don't, I don't think, uh, don't <clears throat> think we're quite a low profile bunch. No, but we have to pretend to be. I can barely see Lydia most of the time. She's very good at low profile. Juice, however, with those bright pink pants with Juicy on the ass. <laughs> does tend to stand out. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to pick someone taller that looks like an actual student and try and just hide with them. <laughs> okay, so you guys are all going to go in, follow them up the stairs? Sure, what yeah. could go wrong? Yeah. Nothing I'll or everything. The... It really depends on what you choose to do. I'll mm -hmm. stand in the back where they stacked all the like projectors and those things that hold the music and the extra okay. chairs. I can, I can in. go invisible for Jack. Too much. I, I think again we're just sitting in on her class. Yep. I don't think we need to do anything crazy. All right, um, so you find yourselves in a curving balcony crowded with several dozen aspiring necromancers, both living and undead. Uh, many of the students are taking notes as they watch the events in the lecture space below. Uh, Nathnelma is standing in an oval-shaped lex lecture space 20 feet below you um, the, in the observation gallery, dressed in a severe black dress and a matching wool jacket. Most of the lecture space is filled with a 15-foot-long table Upon which is lying an enormous two-headed morgue. Mor M O H R G morgue. Morgue, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um Nathnelma is breaking up the Create Undead Rituals explanation over several lecture sessions, moving steadily but swiftly through the process, um, pausing for occasional questions from students. She's well into the lecture series by the time you're visiting. Fair enough. Uh, so a student stops and asks her um, about the test subject on her table and asks if it has two heads, um, if it still needs. So basically in the ritual, you have to put black onyx under its tongue and it's the students basically asking like, hey, do you have to do it to both heads or just the one? Um, so she tells them, that you have to do a full piece of black onyx under each tongue. Um, and let's see, you can't, you guys can't ask her questions. Like she doesn't know who you are at this point. Um, or you can just observe. Um, How dare she not know who we are? <laughs> uh, also, We've killed like four of her friends. Also, well, maybe fix your cameras. We also don't. Oh yeah. The oh, because oh, orcs here. Are a little long. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I I looked to my left and was like, oh, I'm, that's I not would right. Ask her. Uh, what would be the best defense against someone trying to disrupt your ritual? Okay. Um. Ask a uh, roll a arcana or occultism check. Oh, those are better than what I was going to try to roll. Hold on. Oh, well, then roll that. Oh, I was going to roll uh, my necromancy. All right, and tell me what your question was again. Uh, the best uh, def way to prevent someone from disrupting your ritual, while you're like, you know, you're 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 doing your thing, and somebody comes to interrupt you. What's what's the best way to prevent it? Uh, she stares at you and pauses for a second. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Romulus Marius. Juice, anyone said. Well done. Uh, and what, deep what brings you to my classroom? You're not a student, are you? 
Uh, we heard that there was an open observation and uh, decided to hear and learn. I am a student myself and I'm eager to learn all there is. The pursuit of knowledge never ends, as you might have heard. I see, I see. Um, roll a diplomacy. I have that. Oh, you did. We'd be in trouble if we didn't. Uh, how, how many hero points we got? A one. I don't like that uh, answer. 17 <laughs> out of the 12. Okay. Uh, she nods and returns to her lecture. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not saying shit. I, I grumble quietly, but not a very good answer. Are you saying that loud enough she can hear you? Uh, the people around me, not necessarily. Okay. Uh, it is a big room. You hear a, a couple very soft chuckles. <laughs> you also see a couple raised eyebrows like, ooh, how dare he? <laughs> I'll reach out and touch him on the shoulder. Don't make waves, Jeeves. Don't blow our cover. <laughs> Obvious. She clearly doesn't know. That may be. But don't blow our cover. Oh. If we <laughs> gain her focus, it will be much harder to murder her later. This is mental. Uh, Nobody can hear it except Juice, him. <laughs> Juice will, will stare at her, but he'll look unamused the whole time. Did you guys want to try and big anything else out? Ask any other questions? Uh, I don't. I want to ask a bunch of questions, but I feel like they'd all be way too obvious. Like, do you have any weaknesses? <laughs> That'd be pretty fucking obvious. Yeah, yeah. I, I would maybe. So, I I think maybe I shouldn't be the one asking any questions here. I got I got fun. Okay. Can I ask the student next to me how long this lecture is supposed to last? And if she has an office and what her office hours are? <laughs> um, you can. <laughs> Let me go ahead and roll. Roll society. Oh, that's the worst thing you could probably have me do. You got an argument for something better? <laughs> no, I do not. I mean, other than, like, diplomacy. But... <laughs> I will take diplomacy. Okay. That one's at least a plus ten. Versus a plus nine. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't I don't know her office hours, but she does have a small office on the, the smaller building on campus, uh, I mean, you could you could go check and see if she's posted the hours outside the door. How long does this lecture last? Uh, it it's usually uh, about two hours. She's pretty into. Mhm, mm mhm. How long has the lecture been going on for? Mm, like maybe fifteen twenty minutes. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, I kind of want to sneak that out back out and break into her office while she's busy with the lecture. I don't know if anyone else wants to come with. No, I'm going to stay here and ask her questions. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are going to split the party. I'm just clarifying. Well, she already is aware of me, so I'm going to stay put. Uh, I didn't say anything, so I will try and follow her. So who are you, what are you doing? Stop. Are you going with Lydia or staying? Sounds pretty sneaky, right? 
yeah I'll, I'll probably tag along with you make sure um okay you maybe don't get straight murdered without help be in stuff to, well i guess clack is sneaky too right I, I, got to a pretty, sneaky? I got some pretty good stealth yeah stealth is like only the second <sighs> highest thing i have i also have the invisibility spear in case we uh fuck up okay yeah maybe just me and you and then dump and dump and juice stick it out of the the lecture yeah Plus, we're technically smaller than everyone. Oh yeah, that's true. I, my token is still is a bit big, but I'm technically your size. <laughs> Are you sure you want to split the party? I Not don't want really, to split the party. But... Hmm? I mean, if we're just gonna track her. I'm at school. There have not been any shootings recently. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that's when there's about to be one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. I mean, I guess if we know where the class, where the office area kind of is, we can always break in at another time. We don't have to break in now. When when are you gonna have another opportunity? Oh. You're probably not. You should go. Does she have other classes? I'm not splitting You're the probably party, not. guys. You should go. <laughs> All right, who's going to the office? Okay. Yes. I have a pouch full of bombs. I'll deal with it. Maybe you should be like 20 feet behind us and just follow from behind. I feel like we're going to get ourselves killed doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I don't want to die. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know what else we really can do. Kind of. My reasoning was either breaking into her fucking office or following her to try and figure out where the hell she has a home base at, since we shouldn't be messing with her directly at school. Why are we staying here if she's left? She's still teaching the class. Oh, okay. Oh, and we were specifically warned not to do anything at her. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, with, you know, physically with her. Right. Yeah. So we want to go break into her office while she's teaching a class? Is that our... our... Uh, yeah, I'm going to ask her... Um. Let me look at the spell. Oh no. All right. While you look up what you want to ask her, um, it takes the three of you about 20 minutes to locate the directory, figure out where her office is, and get outside the door. So you are now outside of her office. You are in front of the door to her office. Oh, here's a good one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, during the process of activating the undead is it possible to empower it further than what the spell level would typically allow all right give me an occultism arcana or religion Sorry, I just want to make sure I give you. Um. Uh. I. I mean. Um. Animating dead is, is difficult. And she turns away from you and goes back to her lecture. 
it's it's very clear that the question you asked her flustered her and possibly even stumped her and she didn't have an answer for it. Ooh. Dang. I just mumbled to the crowd. She calls herself a professor. <laughs> you get a you get a couple oh. more people kind of chuckling. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess Lydia's, like, is there anyone around this fucking hallway? Do you see anybody in the hallway? I mean, no. But All right, well, then. I don't see anyone in the hallway, but I'm assuming behind this door, there might be a person or two. So the office is on the ground floor of a stone building. There are two windows from the outside or this door, obviously inside. I stuck you in the hallway in front of the door just because it made sense to me. Fine. Yeah, makes sense. You would have peered in the windows as you walked up and there would have been nobody in there. That helps. Sure. I guess I'm just gonna uh, check and see if it's trapped and then check and see if it's locked. Um, it is not trapped, but it is locked. Um, you will need three successful DC 25 thievery checks to unlock it. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, Clack. Mm -hmm. Come, come spot me on this. I need a, an extra pair, pair of eyes. Okay. <laughs> so I can get some aid. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll aid. That oh. was shit. Uh, how's a 21 do? Yeah, no. She said 25, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, hey, hang on. Do you want me to? Uh, no, no, no. no, no. You, you it's fine. It I'll... Okay. I'll... I can get this. That'll, that that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking motherfucker, I dropped my plantain. No! Get it before the dog does. Oh, they're not in here, thank God. <laughs> but how clean is the floor? <laughs> Five second rule. Five second I, rule. I, I, did, I did just mop my floor. Um, Five second rule only counts if you, when you pick it up, there's not visible hair on it. The right, yeah, that's impossible. <laughs> Which is usually what happens in my house because all of my dogs shed like assholes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I pick it up after the one second and there's fur. Like, mm, you know, I don't think I'm hungry anymore. <laughs> Let's go. At least not for that. Did you want to ask her any more questions, Juice? Hmm, yeah. So, uh, Juice has his, uh, his spell book out, and he's like, I'm just rummaging through. <laughs> he's just gonna get himself killed while he while we're not there. Uh, do the effect I have another another one, madam. Uh, do the effects of dispel magic uh, affect your 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 animated dead, or are they would they be intact after a uh, successful defense against them? Uh, roll your check. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, why, why are you concerned about dispelling the magic? Well, if I animate these dead in defense of my life, I would like to know that they are not so easily just, like, banished or vanquished or at, the, at a whim. Right, right. I see. And she turns back to her work. 
Um, roll. Am I going? Am I going to die if I use your spell? You roll, didn't answer the question. <laughs> roll a diplomacy. <laughs> Uh, or deception, whatever's better, diplomacy or deception. Uh, they're at the same. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hero point that. Oh, that's a lot okay. better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, okay. that's way better. <laughs> That'll do. So, um, at this point, I the really wanted to see what would have happened with that one though. Uh. Right. Um, so at this point you have pretty much won over the other students in the classroom and they are kind of chuckling and grinning at you um, and some of them close their notebooks and leave uh, Nathnelma has realized she has lost control of the class at this point uh, and says that'll be all for today and storms out followed by uh, her two-headed friend and her teaching assistants uh, wait, Professor, oh, no. you haven't... Am I going to die if I use your spell? This is important. You know, my life's at stake here. I think all of our lives are at stake. You can't just walk away from your class. Are you just talking to an empty whiteboard now? <laughs> He's just standing in there screeching. By himself, just yelling in a... <clears throat> like the top tier of a fucking... Oh. College classroom. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the campus, unbeknownst to them. Meanwhile, behind the facade of this innocent looking bookstore. <laughs> uh, Lydia has just popped open the door to the lock. The lock to the door. You know what I meant. There we go. <laughs> the door to the office? The office that the ladies go into? Uh, which... But does all the milk, do the milkshakes bring them there? Uh, are they only boys? I think I, I would I would show up for milkshakes. I think we're getting sexist here. Um, no, I'm not concerned about it's, it's, it's all the boys. Well, and if it was all the boys, here. little known fact, Raider she doesn't sell milkshakes. What? Well, good news, we're not in Raider. Um, it's true, we're in Yelp. But he doesn't you... have Yelp lore. He has Raider lore. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Oh, God. I think Lydia's going to, like, you know, he was asking a bunch of questions. You don't think he's just going to piss her off, do you? <laughs> he'll, he'll keep her occupied. He'll keep her there. <laughs> I just asked. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, All I said was. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I don't think they were planning on being here for very, very long. All right, so what are we doing in this lady's office here? What's going uh, on? I kind of just want to find out if I can see where the fuck she might live or if there's anything of interest in the office. Uh, are there any obvious fucking traps immediately after opening the door? Because that would trap. Mm-hmm. Uh... I mean, did you check? No. <laughs> I'm I'm asking you so you can tell me. I don't roll if I don't get asked to roll. <laughs> Sometimes I just roll shit and say, Orc, I got this. What is it? <laughs> and hope it works. <laughs> uh, no, there's no traps that you can see. Cool. Fuck my head in. Oh. Yeah. Roll initiative. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You had to know. Um, you had to know the office was protected. What's going on with the uh, hero points for this week? Juice is, One. Uh, Juice okay. is iced macchiato just finished. And he's uh, uh, sipping it slowly, watching the sunset. And Oops. Chatting it up with some of the uh, students from the class. Uh, Lydia, this this guy has appeared in front of you. Mm -hmm. And he goes, boo. Oh. Oh, he's like he's entirely teeth. made of teeth. So many teeth. So many teeth, guys. A lot of teeth. How, how many teeth was it? 
many. Well, you can do the counting because they're everywhere. Yeah, you're not in this battle. You've got time to count. You got. You idiots split the party. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was. Uh, I just want to know that I was that, like, against they this. Do it without me. Hold on, I've not tried to. I've just okay. I was like, where the hell is Stump? Right, to end no. right here. If I uh, that, here the whole time. That's where I put you. If you had wanted to be closer, you can move yourself closer. Yeah, I think okay well, hold that. on, hold on a second. That'll fuck everybody up now. Okay. You know, I would definitely have been like closer. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Gonna guess. Okay, let's see how this goes. And just try and immediately double strike. Probably. Oh, I'm not. Uh, it misses. That's fine. Oh. Yeah. Well, Does that miss? No. <laughs> Give me that crit are you, damage. Are Are we still fighting? Pretty You're, low on the crit damage. Aren't you missing a d6 for your first sneak attack because you hit? Mm. Oh no, it's right in there. Sneak oh, two plus two. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, no, I just rolled a, a one on my. I rolled two ones and a two. Yeah. Yeah. You got six poison, but something tells me that's not. Oh, it, did, it still worked on him. Never mind. It's fine. Good damage. You might want to get the fuck away from it. Just yeah, that's the plan. So it at least has uh, to waste a action point. Like, moving. Never mind. That was, that was fine. 10, 15, 20. There's a thing in there. There's a thing in there. What? No, I don't see anything. Well, oh, there's, there's a thing, thing in there. It has a lot of teeth. It was gross. It looks like it's made out of an old blanket. We maybe and shouldn't teeth. stay here. It kind of reminds me of my uncle. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll just stay right here. See what happens. All right. Yeah. So this guy is going to use terrifying laugh, uh, and he's going to release a uh, laugh and a twenty foot emanation. So that'll hit all of you. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, DC 26 will save police. Come on. We can do it. Yeah, that'll uh, do it. Since it's on frightened, I will use my undead benefit. Yes. Alright, so Clack is frightened too. Uh, Lydia and Stump, you are fine, um, but you are also immune to this for 24 hours. I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, Quack's just like straight up the laughing skull head. Just... <laughs> it's gathering strength. Yeah. And then kind of a little clip of scene from like Robin Hood men and said, What are you doing? And then he's actually gonna move here. And that'll be his turn. Mm -hmm. I don't know how intelligent it was. He might just be able to fucking leave. Well, if we do, it'll tell the owner that we were here and blow our cover. I mean, maybe. With all those teeth, it must have a mouth somewhere. It can probably speak. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to use the rod of wonder on it, but I that's a, <laughs> that's a stupid decision. So, uh, that doesn't sound great, yeah. We're gonna... <laughs> I am going to go into my uh, stance, old wolfy stance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wolf stance, dance. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, uh, is that on there? No, for some reason it's not on. Come on. Uh, there we go. Wait, what? No, don't edit the bonus feats. There it goes. Apply effect. Change things around on me. And then I will. Uh, is it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh my god, with the stupid wall thing. Nope, not there. There. Uh, target this fella with a flurry of blows. Uh, flurry some blows at his face. And then I'll flurry some more blows. Ooh, that was almost a one. That'll also hit. Then with the uh, rest of my movement, let's see, that was 25. I got 20 more. I will boop, 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 and Oh my god stupid wall thing back to where i was i'm done okay clap uh yeah i, I can do so much uh can't even see the bastard oh there he is hi Gonna work? Probably not. But we'll find out. We'll uh, say. I need, yeah, DC 24, we'll say. I think I got it. Yep. You did, but at least it slowed one. That's fine. Not an issue. And, uh,. Yeah, that is all I can do, so I'll be uh, over here trying to tackle my way out of this. Oh, uh, it says I get a save on the Frightened every turn. Is it? Did it give you the save when you ended your turn? No, I haven't ended a turn yet. I was wondering if it uh, did that, and it didn't. Okay. I think I get it. The creature attempts only one save per terrifying laugh. What? Yeah, so you're just frightened too. It's, yep, yeah, it's in there. Mm. Let me, here, here, I'll post, I'll post it again no, for I, you. I see it, yeah. <laughs> huh. All right. Never mind. Does it go down to one? Uh, it does not say. I'm pretty sure when they're condition numbers like that, they go down by one. Yeah. Yeah. Unless specified yeah. otherwise, at the end of each of your turns, the value of your frightened condition decreases by one. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It does not say otherwise, so frightened one. Right. Indeed. Lydia, do a thing. Yeah. Although it didn't immediately go to you, which makes me worried. Kind of missing the music. I know. A little bit. We'll figure it out. Uh, as I'm leaving, need, I, I look at stealth. Doesn't matter. It's not. Go ahead. And I just uh, try and keep it busy if you can. That was 2025. 20, Wait, you attacked it again and it's still alive. Hmm? Stump is confused why it's still alive. Watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30, 35. 
I want to start rifling through the desk. So let me know if you want me to roll perception or thievery. Uh, let's see, to go through the desk. And I do have, like, um, my background is that I'm a thief. And I have, like, subtle theft and a bunch of other fucking thievery shit. So I didn't think it would be a bunch of actions for me to try and do it. That was two actions to get there, though. Yeah, um, yeah, just do a perception or a, um, thievery. Either one's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you start rifling through the desk and find this. That's interesting. Fourth level invisibility spell. God dang. Yeah. Yeah, that is, uh... You also notice, uh, you noticed as you were walking over, um, a interesting figurine sitting on the bookshelf in the back that looks very similar to the, the cat and the dog you guys have found. Okay. Do I have time to grab both of these things during my turn? Out of the desk? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to assume that my turn is over. Yeah, unless you have any movement left. Uh, hold on. Move. Move. I think I probably had five feet left, so I'm going to just... Love that you that. chose to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so... As you go back here and you get closer to these bookcases, uh, the this one over here is the one where you see the statue. Um, mm -hmm. But this one right here, a spectral triceratops appears oh, no. and charges oh, towards you. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this is fun. I need a DC 26 reflex safe. Oh, okay. boy. Oh boy, okay. wrathful dinosaur! Is it trap? Um, it certainly sounds like a trap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a trap. Okay. Oh. Um, no. I yeah. think I'm gonna go ahead and use a hero point. Okay. There Seems you like go. the right Very move. Nice. Very nice. Oh. Cool. Very cool. And you'll also have noticed that this came from a, a dinosaur femur sitting on a pedestal, like a display pedestal. Mm-hmm. She squeaks and tries to get out of the way. Oh, wait. I wouldn't have even had to use a hero point for that. Just kidding. I could have just used my halfling luck thing. Well, okay, go. that's fine. I always forget I have that. Hmm. All right. You remembered this time. That's all that matters. Fucking Chewy McToothface. That is gone because he already incurred that for his turn. So. Don't mind me. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah, that makes the most sense. He's going to come over to you. No, he doesn't need to do that. Oh, clearly he does. He'll try and double click me. Um, and he is going to use a Wrath of the Haunt. Mm -hmm. Oof. And I need a DC 28 reflex. 
Mm-hmm. Jesus. Damn. It's a lot of dice. We need to uh, dodge that shit. Tumble through. <laughs> <laughs> you better tumble through a window and get the fuck out of there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no. Oof. Now That's do you want to use that hero point? Yeah. Why not? Come on, roll another net for me. That's there you go. That's All right, better. half damage. Cool. So half of each of those. I'm mm -hmm. really jinx. I am pure luck. And that is all he can do. <laughs> I give lots of people luck. I just don't have any of my own. Mm -hmm. um, Dumb. Please keep it busy. Oh God. <laughs> also, <laughs> please try to stay top serious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is the Triceratops still here? No, the trap triggered and it went off. Oh, okay. Um, well, yes, yeah, yeah. So you can banish its sp spirit or scare it off or calm it. So yeah, the trap went off. You have to disable it by either nature, intimidation, or survival. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not by the trap right now, so I'm going I to try and punch this thing. have any other way of dealing with it. oh, oh mm. gross let's uh let's Rude. let's just let's just use our hero point yeah. there's no need for that oh wait a minute uh oh that's a crit right there uh, come on there it is four okay well it's not a fucking critical fail yep that's all the, that's all that matters um hey very nice go. give me that crit damage yeah feel like it should have been more than that but that's okay 24 is not bad i'd give you a fortitude save too yes uh yeah the stunning uh that's your specialization yeah, mm-hmm well, it's also just stunning fist. It's just a it's a monk thing. If I hit you at all during a flurry, mm -hmm. you have to do that. Uh, oh, so you succeeded. Um, it's rude. We're still We're real, really yeah. shitty on that. These guys are fighting for their lives, and Deuce is sipping his latte, going, "Look, <laughs> all I'm trying to say is, as a mage, we should be assured that our that our summoned creatures aren't just going to disappear on us and then we die." Are you just like sitting in the courtyard, just rallying students? Well, you know, there's, there's, there's a, a small group of students around me. He's gonna start a riot. <laughs> and, you know, she's she's teaching He's... you all this stuff, but she's not teaching you how to survive. If your summons go away, the next blade that comes down is gonna take your head. Are you starting a petition, Juice? You know, I just I just think you guys should should ask more questions. Maybe check this lady's credentials or. You know, stand up on obviously, she's uh, gonna get some of you killed. I was asking basic questions. About he walks over property. and grabs a soapbox so he can get up on it and see more people. He he's like, no, no, no. You know what? Follow me. And he sends them back up to the balcony and goes down in the classroom himself. <laughs> to show you how this should be explained. Um. So yeah, that's uh, one attack, two attacks. He's university's love petition. Come on, me. I've got. Uno mas. Uh, not a lot of things I can do with it. I could use the rest of my movement and give Lydia some a, a battle medicine. Uh, that's about all I got. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, Did you want to battle medicine the dinosaur? No, it's not injured. <laughs> Oh the fucking Oh my god, how many times do I have to click the button? There we go. You get uh sixteen healings. That'll be my turn. Okay. 
Oh, there it is. Clack. Okay. One, two, oh, I think. three. Where the fuck did he go? All the way down He's here. down here by us. Oh, I was going to say, I can't see. Way down here. Oh, there we go. He's, um, a, he's in rough shape. I see that. Let me just uh, see. 40 feet. What do I got for 40 feet? Uh, God damn it. Why does fighting words have to be the same? All right. Um. Ah. I got a lot. You could move a little closer. I can't. You can use a second movement. I but do, then he I can't, can't cast Then he spell. can't cast spells. Yeah, mm -hmm. he can't cast spells. Because he's fighting one. I will try to daze him. Please <laughs> give me a basic will save. I will probably pass. You did it! Oh. Fuck yeah! Take, hey. take some damage. Aha. Okay. Ah. Ow. He's and not feeling good now. And then I'll uh, back up a bit. Not feeling good, Mr. Stark. Lydia. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh... Can I grab the, sh the thing on the shelf? Cool. I want to grab it with my fucking shirt or something. <laughs> yeah. I ain't touching it. Uh, if I can pull up my inventory, drag it in there. You should be able to just drag and drop it on top of yourself. Uh, I have had that not work. That's all. I just always open up my inventory and drag it directly onto there. And you said you could make a nature survival or intimidation check to try and calm the Triceratops thing? Yes, nature would banish, intimidation would scare it, or survivor survival would calm it. Okay, I'm going to try and calm it. Okay, so that is a 26 survival. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to get this, but I will fucking try. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey! you were so much. <laughs> Thank God. God damn. She, she has gotten the dice god's blessing. Jeez. Okay. okay. She's got oh, the RNG cool. stuck. He does have I was my 15. blessing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can I grab the bone that I thought it came from? Would I know if I could use it? Uh, No, you wouldn't be able to use it. You you can't take it. Yeah, it's not. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know you want to catch them all. I do. But this I this one's a no. I know, but this one's a no. <laughs> Ask Juice. Tell Juice all about it. Ask him to learn the magic. <laughs> if summon uh... ghost triceratops. <laughs> it's a good spell to know. Is it worth taking another quick look around before I try and continue to run away? Your thievey senses would say you have picked the place clean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Dump, I think this is all that we've got to find. We could probably just, uh, probably just run away now. Why well, have you not killed the tooth monster yet? I'm busy doing rogue things. Stop looting the place and kill the blanket with feet. <laughs> Jesus. Bye. Kill the tooth blanket. I'd stab it. Oh, look. You stabbed it. After the murder, did you forget? <laughs> Is it still alive? Yes. Yep. Bitch. <laughs> uh, nine Charmutes is an avalon. Uh -huh. uh, was my nature check an action? 
I kind of assumed yes. it was, but that's what I thought. So it has no more actions. Uh... Convenient. <laughs> Go. You got this right. <laughs> I don't back. know. You might not. It, it goes next. I know. <laughs> so I move. I move an extra ten feet away. I'm gonna hope that I've got this. It hits pretty <laughs> fucking hard. It does it hard. It, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> and then it's uh, it's time to go. We should go. Okay, so it can do this. Ow. <laughs> Ow. I'm gonna try again. Ah, oh, that should have been mm -hmm. a two. Oh shit, why did Lydia take damage? Why? Oh, because I'm focused on her to heal her. Heal yourself through that. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt me. Rude. You get the damage because you didn't kill the monster. <laughs> that's how <Yeah>. it <laughs> uh, that's great. See. That is his turn. Damage. Lydia, also, as you ran out of the room, you noticed a pile of papers on the desk and you snatched them up. Sweet. Okay, now it's my turn. Two can play at this game. Lydia gets a thumbs up. <laughs> I will try and get our psych and take and take him. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you yeah, go. See, you didn't need me at all. Oh. You had it in you all along. Hmm. What? What was that? You got a. You got about two Sharmutes and a Valen left in him. I don't. I mean, uh, fuck it. That's not going to do it. All right, well, he still has to make the Stunning Fist save. Oh, okay. DC 24 to 2, 24 fortitude. He makes it critically. That doesn't do anything special for him. Uh, that's my turn. I spent all my points of action. Stump pointedly looks over at Lydia. Black attack. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, after last round, I would not be frightened anymore. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Five. Almost dead, Pac. You got this. Uh, we'll see about that. Pack a javelin, Pac. <laughs> I don't think that's what you want from me. Um, I will. I don't want to cast the. Fuck it. I'll cast the new spell. Oh. Oh. Is it a washing machine? Um, the condition is one it. living creature. Yeah, oh, you can't it? cast that on oh, the blank sorry, I didn't blanket. He... For some reason. Right, though. Not... Uh, let's just save, save that. Let's yeah. save that spell. And, uh. Rewind. It never yeah. happened. Let's just uh, do a normal. Your mother was a hamster. <laughs> That's better. You can do it. Hey, that should do that it. hit. Give me at least five damage. Uh, we'll see. I've got at least four coming. There we hey, go. Hey, there you go. Get it. All right. See, I told you, he had it. It's fine. He goes, poof. Fucking go. <laughs> it's strange when the things don't die when you hit them. Hey, can you do the invisibility thing? Let's go figure out where the hell uh, oh. Juice went. <laughs> yeah, let's... Uh... It does uh, not get wait. seen leaving. Before we leave, I'm going to try and uh, make it look like we weren't here, cover our tracks. 
grab the toothy blanket and stuff it into a drawer or something <laughs> or can take it with us whatever it can't be very heavy <laughs> it it just kind of goes poof I'm gonna oh, say okay. it probably dissipates. It's, yeah, it's spectral. Does it does it blink a few times and then disappear? Yeah, it's it's like a like a neon sign going out. Oh, like like a bad guy in a like Nintendo game after you kill him, mm -hmm. they lay there for like a second, then they blink a couple times, then they they're gone. I was thinking about those screaming wraiths in uh, Fable, where like as it dies, it screams and then floats up into the sky and disappears. <laughs> I haven't mm. thought about Fable in a long time. <laughs> oh, good. Everybody's together again. You guys come back Juice is now giving a lecture on the finer points of necromancy. <laughs> Invisible Lydia just, like, grabs a hand and starts pulling away. <laughs> time to go, time to what? go. What? Time to go. Hey, these, these students need education. I <laughs> know. You can educate them when we kill the hag. <laughs> oh, now you're calling juice. Invisible stump reaches out and just kind of grabs him and pulls him into the invisibility <laughs> bubble. Except that's not how this spell works. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't. For flavor, for just this moment, it can be. Okay, cool. <laughs> just, just this he moment. pops out of existence. <laughs> and from so the outside, the they would around. just see, like, arms reach out of nowhere, and he's boom, gone. <laughs> Students uh, gasp. They either think that uh, I was abducted for speaking out against the system, or... <laughs> they think you're a goddamn genius. <laughs> Don't believe leaflets that say fight the power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lydia, as you're going through those papers, um, you will find that one of them is the address to Nathnelma's home. Uh, one of them, uh, talks about the Palladium, which is a shrine to Ergothoa, um, and there is a response from a mid-ranking priest who Nath Nathnelma requested for Shadow Ash, um, and the response is informing her that the shrine's priests are unable to craft the shadow ash in the quantity that she's seeking. Um, and if one of you wants to do a DC 25 crafting check, learn some more about that. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> oh. oh. I can assist, but that only bring up to a 20. Anybody else want to try? Oh, actually, I am untrained. I can still try, but... Actually, no, I can't. The highest I could get is 20. Kidding. Yeah. Yeah, hi. For that. Uh, okay. What check was I supposed to be making? Crafting. Crafting. DC twenty five. Jack. I don't even think I'm trained in that at all. Juices, but yeah. Yeah, he just failed his check. Oh no, uh, I do. I have. I I do have crafting. I'll give it a shot. I don't think it's going to do any good. I am untrained and have a plus zero. Nope. Nope. Mm, nope. So no marble fools. You guys, based on everything you've been through. Get the inkling that if she's part of the group of hacks, that the shadow ash probably has something to do with the poison. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. The yeah. tracks. Yeah, do. I feel like a nature or a medicine check to determine that too. Well, there's shadow more you ashes. could learn about it, like what it actually is and what it does, but. Mm. That's what the crafting check was more for. Gotcha. So, yes. Now we you... did the real medicine check for the plus 15. <laughs> oh, wrong thing. Uh, so, yeah. So, now you know uh, her address. You know about the Palladium where she's been asking for 
Shadow Ash, and you know you have a vampire who's going to wake up soon. Right. We should go talk to Prince Namor, the Submariner. Um, let's swing by the hotel. I'll heal, heal up hmm. anyone who needs healing still. Beep. You guys going to take a little afternoon nap? A siesta? Yeah. A little snooze. We pass out in the afternoon, wake up after twilight, don't realize what day it is, and we're all confused. <laughs> oh, it's super oh, no. dark. The world has gone black and white. It's nighttime. Oops, oops, oops. Is 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 this how is this how the, the right wing sees the world? Just black and white. Oh hey, there we go. We're normal people now. I'll make it a little bit better. All right. Yeah. So you go back at nighttime and the two attendants uh, let you into his room. Um, and you should get better security. They just let us in. They they know you. Uh, so Zithni comes out uh, to greet you and he says, I hope you didn't expect us to loiter in this boring place all night. When Yeld has so many stimulating distractions to offer, oh no, we're going to go party, my new friends. We're going to revel. We're going to indulge. We're going to overconsume. And he holds out his arms and his uh, valet slides a coat over his shoulders. Uh, do try to keep up. It'll impress the celebrants. Uh, so he is inviting you out for a night on the town. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so. Where is my potion of intestinal fortitude? <laughs> oh god so basically you guys are gonna go on five different little adventures this is quick i promise um you'll go to five different places indulge in alcohol drugs whatever um and you <laughs> can either choose to participate or not participate um and then just whatever one you choose you have a check and it determines your relationship with him throughout the evening not participating doesn't mean that your relationship's going to go down with him. It's it's about how you do your check. Oh, so is this like a skill challenge where kind we of. have to come up with a check to make for a situation? So no. So basically, you can either indulge in his advent his venture, or you can abstain. Well, right. So it will become clearer. Yeah. So I'll give you the the options for each one, and then. Okay. So, uh, so let's do it. The uh, let's see. so the first stop is a drug den and bar where dancers and flutists entertain patrons. Flutists. Um, flutists. So yeah, he takes you in uh, and serves you dancers and drugs. Shall you partake or not? Juice will take. Uh, don't know if Stump would care about dancers, but he does like drugs. Uh, do these count as poisons? No, we're not gonna count them as poisons. No. <laughs> so what you're saying is, I can't use an antidote first. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I don't know, man. I think if you took an antidote and then went and did a bunch of drinking, you probably wouldn't get real drunk. Like, <laughs> all right. Um. So if you are going to <laughs> indulge, then you need to do a DC twenty three Fortitude saving throw. It will increase, um, by two each time. <laughs> don't think. This is going to go well for me. <laughs> it's going to go so bad. Oh, no, it went fine. I'm good. Oh, uh, I didn't. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, All right. So we'll go down the line. <laughs> Juice. Juice. <laughs> 
You just drunk in a corner at this it point. Wasn't a, it wasn't a critical thing. You, um, baby. Is he still complaining about the lecture? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you are still like going on and on about this lecture. Like you have booty in your face, and you're just looking past it and continually bitching about how bad this lecture was. And slowly and slowly, like, you start to get a little more slurred. Uh, you are now drained one. <laughs> oh. Stump. Uh, yep. you, you have impressed Zithni with your ability to keep up. Uh, he is, he, he likes you. He thinks you're great. I spend, like, an hour doing the robot. Um, let's see. Black. Mm -hmm. Um, you... You spend the entire time thinking that your lute is a flute and trying to play it. <laughs> uh, you are uh, also now drained one. Great. And Lydia... Uh, you outshine Zithni, um, and you can ask him one question about another NPC he knows in Yeld. Oh, man. <sighs> can I pick to ask him a little later in the evening? Like, after oh, she another thinks of a check. question. Yeah, that's fine. She's also, she keeps stealing weasels out of Juice's bag of weasels to, like, add to the drinks. Just, like, trying to impress the vampire. <laughs> like, no, no, I got a little, add a little extra flavor to it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> these are, these are forest weasels. I just imagine, like, a scene in a strip club where there's, like, they're all sitting in a sit in the same area. Two people are like really focused on the dancer, and then they're the one trying to have a conversation with the other two. Like, no, you don't understand how important it is. <laughs> like that's juice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she's she's not even teaching them what to spell magic does. Who does that? This bitch doesn't even know how to spell magic. <laughs> That's great. All right, Sydney finally says, I've had enough of this. Let's go. We're going to the ghoulish blood vat, uh, where he would like you to all partake in drinking blood with him. Oh, that totally sounds can. much yeah. more up my those of you that already drink blood, you may take a plus two to your roll. Your DC does increase by two. Uh, your DC is now uh, 25. As, so the DC for the roll for everybody is 25, but Juice and Lydia, you get a plus two to your roll. Mm. Is it fortitude again, or is it something else that's bad? If you are indulging, it will be fortitude. If you are going to abstain, I will give you other options. I do not I... believe that um, Stump really drinks anything at all, so he probably wouldn't drink blood. I was okay. going to take another option, as trying to drink anything would probably just pour through my bones. Oh, oh Lydia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, this is excellent. Um... Oh, okay, let me do these two first, because they're indulging, and then I'll do you guys, because you're abstaining. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, juice... You're now drained too. Um. Yeah, you you drink it, but you are like so into it, and also you're still pissed, so you're talking like through the blood about how shitty this bitch is. And now you're talking to the bartender. You're telling the bartender about how bad she is. You're telling the waitress, like everybody in the bar. 
Stump is uh, eyeing Juice to the point where he's trying to figure out whether or not he may have to choke him out for the rest of the night so that he doesn't embarrass himself. <laughs> Lydia. Um, you, you overindulge and um, you get this bright idea that you can go steal anything you want and you just run off away from everybody else to go find something shiny. <laughs> Uh, you have now disappeared for the rest of the night. Oh, <laughs> man. Hopefully we find you in the morning. At least at least we can't get any more drain. <laughs> um, before, I, before I left, I, I mean, I feel like I probably would have just asked him about, like, other celebrants in the area and, like, just tried to get more info about what the fuck they're up to in this town. Um, I mean, he doesn't really have, like, a ton of super specific information that's going to be useful to you. The celebrants pretty much do what the celebrants do. Um, if you would like more direction on what kind of questions you can ask him, um, you could specifically ask him about Burline, Krill, or Nethnelma. He would be able to give you information about them that you don't already have. The last one, option three. Nathnelma? Yeah. Um, okay. He would tell you that she keeps wraiths in her walls to guard against intruders. Oh. We felt like, oh, is that what that was? Mm. Well, that <laughs> at her home. Oh, uh -huh. that that was a yeah. geist. It was different. Yep. Um, okay. So the two of you that would like to abstain, you can either do deception, diplomacy, or intimidation to convince him to keep you with him for the evening's excursions. Well, fuck me. I guess intimidation, I'm not very good at that. So it's let's... a DC 21. Well, I better roll 12 or better. Hey. hey okay uh yeah he thinks you're fun he's really into you doing the robot and he says you can hang around i don't drink anything it's not a preference i just don't like at all <laughs> nothing personal <laughs> uh jack mm -hmm. uh dc 21 deception diplomacy or intimidation I will give you a plus one because you are also a celebrant. Oh, yeah. This is fair. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, no, you you a have plus a plus one. one. I did. I added the circumstance bonus of plus one. Oh. You should have lied to oh. me and let me think you didn't. Nope, I have a hero point still. Fine, everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, he thinks you are the life of the fucking party. He loves that you can use your ribs to play the xylophone. Hell yeah. Um, if you choose to abstain again this evening, um, you can't get less than a success. And you can also ask him one question about another NPC. Ooh. Um, I want to ask him about himself. Can I do that? Uh, you can. Are you on a date? So tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> well, no, I figure we're getting him fucked up. It might talk about No, no, no. He's really getting weird. you fucked up. Let's be he's, very clear what's happening. He's trying real hard. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing fine. Juice is a mess and Lydia's gone. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia's <laughs> animal like in the night. Are allowed to make some savory checks? She's literally gone. <laughs> to see if I get anything of interest. We need a random loot table. Yeah. And a D one hundred roll. All right. Uh when we when we get through the rest of these, yes, I'll let you do that. Um, okay. What I mean, what are you asking him about himself? Is there something specific you want to know? What are you into? What's your safe word? <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, I want to ask. Is okay. Can I change? Is it possible to ask about an organization and not just an NPC? Um, depends on your question. Try. Um. Who who is someone one just like another level up in the celebrants that could use a hand that maybe we could help? No, oh, making a connection with you. Uh that I cannot tell you. But I can tell you you can gain favor with the celebrants by gaining favor with me. Figured if there was like a side quest, I might be able to figure it. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, they haven't provided me with a hierarchy tree. No, I figured. I just was like, maybe there's like a future quest that I can get a heads up on or something if we survive all this bullshit. All right. Uh, so next adventure you go on, um. Ooh. He takes you, everybody but Lydia, to a <laughs> dance hall with spectral performers. Ooh. Neat. Uh, if you would like to indulge in a dance with the spectral performers. Is you... it still fortitude? Yes. Can I, can I dance with them with performance instead? No. Do you have anything you can do that can give us a bonus to these saves? Um, Bard Boy, I could Wizard Man. Also, I could ins <laughs> I could flinch. That's not <laughs> gonna help anything. No, I don't think that's how you do that. Uh, Vampiric Maiden. You're looking for flex, not flints. Mm. 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 No, I don't have flex. I yeah. agree. Could, uh, that would be helpful in this situation. Your turn's real good, yeah. I don't, I don't think any of my things are gonna end up helping you out. To be completely honest, well, it's, it's fine. I was just making sure we're uh, we're using yeah. everything we have at our disposal. It's, I got inspire courage, and all that does is attack rolls, damage rolls, and saves against fear effects. Because even if I uh, abstain, oh. I'm in a worse position, so I guess I will try the fortitude save. Come on, dice, don't fail me now. Uh, what for me? It's a twenty-five. Um, yes. Okay, mm. come on. No, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Fine. Stump. Uh, um, go ahead. I I do oh. the robot. <laughs> again some more uh i was i i didn't hear before when i asked if i could sub out performance no yeah no all right yeah. them's not the rule i know oh, trust me i would have rather made a reflex save i have a plus 18 to that my fortitude sucks especially yeah. now that i'm drained what was I trying to be? 25? Yes. Well, Which... can't you abstain and use one of the three charisma ones? If you abstain, you can't get anything less than a success. Right. But yeah. you eventually have to either abstain or indulge again. I'm going to just abstain. Okay. So go ahead and roll and see if you get a crit success. Um. On what? Um. You can either do deception diplomacy or Im intimidation check. All right. Do I get the plus one for being celebrant again? Yes. Hell yeah. All right. I did it. I got okay. a success. You succeed. Um, Juice. Are you? I'm going to abstain because I have my, my, my fortitude is real low right now. Okay. You're looking real rough, buddy. Deception, diplomacy, intimidation. Oh. Hey, no, you just made it. 
Oh, oh, yeah. Because yeah. that was your yeah. first yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. So he he thinks y'all are are good. You're fun. You're still dancing. He's cool with it. You got um, some moves. Yeah, but stump. He <laughs> tries to get you to show him how to do the robot. And he just can't keep up with you. Like, you're so much better than him. And he's so I'm impressed. Doing it for three hours straight. <laughs> Actually, longer. Each location is two hours. Um, Six hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to ask him a question? Uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah, I'd like to learn as much about this. Uh, our prey as possible. Nithnoma. Or whatever her name is, yeah. Um, He could tell you about her. Especially if he can tell us a, a place where she may have let her guard down in any way. Or a weakness or something to that effect. Um, I ask while still doing the robot. He would tell you that she is very fortitudinous, but not very uh, reflexive. Shitty reflexes. Yep. Shitty reflexes. Good to know. Let's send her. Let's uh, fucking get out of here. Alrighty. Um. So next, uh, you guys go to a place called Twin Stories. It's a playhouse, but they're closed for the evening. Sydney spends about 15, 20 minutes outside just demanding that they open up. Uh, <laughs> but they won't. Uh, the guy just keeps refusing. So you guys go to a bar nearby uh, to drink mm -hmm. and partake in drugs again because he's having a great time. So, would you like to abstain or indulge? I'm, I'm going to keep abstaining. It's a better option for me, to be completely honest. Yeah, deception, diplomacy, intimidation. Uh, it's up even higher now, isn't it? What is it at? I forget. Twenty? Is it at 27? No, 21 still. It doesn't... So... Oh, no, yeah, it is. Okay, so two. You're at 25. Okay. You and Stump are at 25. Juice is at 23. Hey, yeah. that's technically a crit. It is. I will, uh, you know. Got one roll to make. Nice. Nice. I... <laughs> I, I snort a lot of coke, and really, I'm just hiding it in my skull. You made it, Juice. You <laughs> made it. All right. I'm doing the robot. Uh, Clack, do you have a question you would like to ask? Um, he already asked about Haggy McBitchface. Um, I want to ask what he knows about Carol. Krill. Krill. Uh, okay. Almost like he seems either mildly grumpy or way too excited all the time about weird things. He doesn't seem like a partier. Let's see. Uh, you know, that guy, he is, like, way into this board game. And he's got, like, this strategic move he always makes. It, it's really strange. Um, but if you play with him again, you get a plus one. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you'd gone to this guy before, you would have gotten a plus one when you played with him. Mm. All right. Uh, very last place. He will take you... To a, a college frat party. <laughs> yeah. 
Do they walk in? Do they see juice? So they go, juice. It's apparently <laughs> still going on at 5 a.m. because we've been out for eight hours at oh, this yeah. point. Juice. I don't know when we left the house, but it's been Ain't a while. Juice gets Ain't a no plus party one. Like... Ain't no party <laughs> like college frat party because a college frat party don't stop. Mm-hmm. Oh. Those should stop at like 3 a.m. Bunch of fucking weaklings. <laughs> By that point, they're all on the couch, stoned or sleeping or fucking. Those, yeah. those, <clears throat> well, that would give me a plus 10 to my fortitude. What are we doing? Drinking? It's a Drinking college drugs, frat partying. party, Juice. Keg stands. <laughs> you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rally the troops. I think oh. Juice should get a plus to whatever he does, considering everybody oh, loves him. Oh, he did not rally. Well, well, you rally nothing, unless you want to. Did you use your hero point? Yeah. Uh, oh boy. Mm. Uh, Juice. By this point in the evening, um, you have had so much <laughs> that your speech is so slurred. All you keep saying is "this bitch," just over <laughs> and over and over. Uh, and I'm gonna just continue trying to fake it. I, like I look like I'm drinking it, but really the drink's going straight through my bones and hitting mm-hmm. the floor. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so it's just a, a regular fail. Yeah, I've uh, I've got one move, and I'm gonna make it. Or uh, or does the crit success oh. give me that can't fail can't have to succeed oh you did crit success yes so you just regular succeed you're right cool thank you i'll take that um yeah i need uh... at least one (laughs) i failed i Hmm. stopped doing the robot you did you your joints are a little rusty and squeaky now and you just you need a rest Um... but that is the end of your adventure um as as you guys are going back with him to Harrow House, he does tell you um, that if you bring Nathnelma to him alive, he has a, a delicious revenge in mind for her. And then goes inside. Bef- but before he does that, he gives you a million dollars and we can just leave. Oh, hopefully it's here then. Gives you this. Is it visible? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. And Eon Stone. Oh. Neat also, and all. I think I think Duncan could use that. Sure. I don't think I need to breathe. Um, Juice, you gain three points with the celebrants. Stump oh. and Clack, you gain four points with the celebrants. And Lydia, you gain one point with the celebrants. Uh, four, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I have eight points. I am at 10. Builders and the exports love me. The celebrants and the animators are cool with me. And uh, we don't talk about the tax collectors union. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know what? I, I feel like that fits I, the I, role. I'm also at uh, five yeah. reputation points for arguing the amount. <laughs> That's right. You guys made up reputation points with our Yeah. <laughs> Lydia, you wanted to try and steal something while you were wondering about? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, do you have a place in mind that Lydia might go wander into? A place that has shiny things. I mean, I feel like she would start at the bar that they were at. Okay. And you then got... just kind of wander from there. Okay. So if the bar is near, like, the plaza that this is, then she would kind of 
end up in that area. Okay. She she just go wander. Okay. And pickpockets. She just passes by people, skitters through their legs, and is just like, this is mine. Oh, that looks <laughs> nice. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, what's this? What's in this pocket? All right, yeah, give me... Let's, let's have that. So hopefully it's harder to notice. Do, like, three checks. Yeah, give me three. <laughs> One. <laughs> also, I've really considered whether or not I wanted to use these at some point in the night and get stuck somewhere. This is right. one of the things that it says. Like, you could be suspended in the air and for a while. I'm dragging the things you find in here. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you find uh, a piece of citrine a bronze brazier and a uh, brass anklet. That's right, a bunch of junk. Is what you Accurate. you take off of people. Uh, you also find two gold. Oh. Hell yeah. So I didn't add the gold. You can add the gold. And do. Yeah, as it gets later, the plaza's kind of empty, and, and you pull out your moon shoes and start jumping around, and you get your head stuck through an awning. So you have to cut yourself out, and you take your shoes off and uh, leave a note. It says it was Juice Wellington. <laughs> and then go home. Sounds about right. Everyone knows my name. Hmm? Everyone knows my name's not Wellington. They'll it, never know. Exactly. That's the whole... Lydia never calls anybody by their real name, so... Chief Wellington. I think I would probably just, like, it was Lucy Juice. Some shit like that. Is O.J. Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy Fruit. Orenthal James. The juice. Yeah, you can. Next time you can go to the Palladium if you want and investigate the ash thing. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. um, or you can just roll up in her house. You know what? Uh, let's we find out them. about the ash thing. That might be. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we should probably investigate that. Yeah. Why not? But it is also after 10 p.m. It is. Like 10 after. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just saying that, for those of you who have work in the morning, we should probably end the stream. Okay. okay. Well, uh, thank you all for joining us if you did. And uh, if you didn't, yeah, what's wrong with you? We're here. Come, come, on, come and hang out. We love you. We we love you and miss you. And uh, mommy and daddy, it'll be okay. You know they'll. You get two Christmases now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> uh, we will be back tomorrow to do some for the king. Saturday for some Jackbox. Sunday for question marks, which means it may happen. It might not. Who the fuck knows? We don't know. We're the last people to know. But uh, we'll see you next round. Have a good night.